We are leading Canada. We are number one in economic growth. We are targeted to grow at twice the national average. We've had four consecutive balanced budgets. British Columbia created 72,000 jobs in the last year. And we've had record infrastructure investments without going into deficit. We have been training people to get a better job. And we've got the resources uh, that we need in place to be able to do all those other things that are so important in creating a fair society. And we want to make sure that everybody shares in that dividend. There is a reason to balance the budget. And that's so that we can create a fairer, more just society. And so that's why we're raising the minimum wage over and above the consumer price index. This year, it will be a 40 cent increase effective September 15th, and then a further increase next year of up to about 40 cents as well. A base of 30 cents plus the CPI, which would put us at about third uh, for minimum wage across the country. Um, that means that, we, that British Columbians would be earning about $11.25 if they're working on minimum wage. It means about $1,400 more in your pocket if you have a full-time minimum wage job. And um, that'll make, that will add up to then the sixth separate minimum wage increase since I became Premier. But in addition to that, we do want to continue to support small business. So I want to reaffirm today our commitment to lower the small business tax rate from 2.5% to 1.5%. That's a reduction in small business tax of 40%. Because it's one thing to raise the minimum wage, and that's important. That's why we've done it. Uh, so many times since I've become Premier. But it's also important that people are able to find a job. And that means that we need to continue to support small business.